Alrighty, folks. So the Grammys happened, and it was an event that happened in life. And no one really watched it. The ratings weren't particularly amazing, and Trevor Noah was deeply unamusing, as he always is. But the outfits. Oh, the outfits. And so we are going to analyze that with the entire crew of The Ben Shapiro Show. We got Doja Cat up first. Oh, Doja Cat. That is, wow. There's so many bad things about this look. Truly so many terrible things about this look. Like, every aspect of this is bad. I mean, like, I, I tend not to critique other people's tattoos as a general rule, but I gotta say, this is not a great group of tattoos. I mean, like, the full skyline across the chest, which apparently culminates in, like, full exposure of nipples for no reason, because she couldn't afford the rest of the dress because she's poor, which is why she's at the Grammys. Like, actual indecent exposure happening. And then the giant cross earrings really make it, I think. Are those crosses or swords? It's hard for me to tell. Fabi was saying, do you remember when Janet Jackson had the, the slip, yes, nip slip? Yes, that's and right. And that was yes, a huge Janet. deal, and now it's just normal. Solid call, and it was like a national scandal. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, and now Doja Cat is like, I will not just give you one nipple, I will give you two. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing good about this look. I think it's fun. Shall we? <laughs> <laughs> you think it's fun? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, man. Yeah, Billie it's Eilish just top. like on a quest to look uglier with each appearance. Because you couldn't have guessed that she was... Um, you know, a lesbian before. Now she's like, guys, just in case you could, you didn't tell. I'm gonna go full out here. Lesbian Greece. Yeah, lesbian <laughs> Greece is a good call. Yeah. She she has changed her hair color, so it used to look as though she wiped her nose straight back, and now it looks as though <laughs> she's actually sustained a serious head injury, a heavily bleeding scalp injury. <laughs> so she's got that going. She's got the kind of long, untucked white shirt with tie look that you get occasionally from the valet. Also early 2000s. Yeah, no, there's a lot of early 2000s skater boy thing going on here. Honestly, they look like the people you toss your keys to when you drive up to a club. <laughs> <laughs> they do, like, come on. Like, he's going to go get the car, and then she's going to make sure that she's re you're registered properly. <laughs> Next torture. Fantasia. Fantasia. See, when I saw Fantasia trending, I was like, you mean the one with Mickey Mouse? Nope. <laughs> it's the person with a giant ring from lip through chin. How do you talk or eat? This is always, I have practical questions about these kinds of piercings. Like, how do you function? She can't, right? She keeps like, she can't smile. This wink looks painful. Yeah, she, she's like, don't move your face. Uh, she's like, uh, 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 can't do it. Yeah, it's not good. This outfit brought to you by the letter U. You can't name a Fantasia song? I can't name one Fantasia song. It's, she's an R&B artist. Would, she won American I mean, Idol the, one of the My leading years. Fantasia song is Takata and Fugue by Bach. <laughs> Again, going back to like the original. The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Moving on. Another fave. Oh, here's Miley Cyrus. There is no Miley, only Zool. <laughs> That's so accurate. So she's got the Sigourney Weaver hair from like late in Ghostbusters going on. And then apparently this entire outfit is made up of safety pins, which I don't know why anyone would make an outfit out of safety pins. That seems like an awful waste of time. I think she looks like she's an Austin Powers. She does kind of look like an Austin Powers. Yeah. This yeah. is like the, the, the yeah. fembots. Yes. <laughs> totally. The fembot oh, thing the going hair. <laughs> That's the a fembot hair. Savvy. A little Trojan-esque maybe. Yeah, she's got a, a bit of a bit of like the ancient Greek thing going yeah. on, but made up of safety pins. Also, if she sucks those cheeks in any further, <laughs> her face is going to implode. <laughs> she, her head will turn into a black hole if she like. My goodness. She can buy herself flowers. She can buy herself flowers, but she can't buy herself <laughs> clothes. Like, clothing. <laughs> clothing. Yeah, she can't afford it. I know all these people are so poor. I was under the impression that you made a lot of money being a major music star, but apparently not. Again, I can't like this look where where these women bite their cheeks. Because I assume that's what she's doing. If that's like her natural look, that's that's pretty harsh. That's not her natural look. No, she's doing a thing. there's a little contouring going on. It's just too bad there's not a giant magnet nearby. <laughs> oh, man. If there are... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready? Here's Lana. Oh. Um, Who died? I, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. And she, <laughs> she looks like she's in mourning. Okay. Those are some big shoulders happening right there. Big and then is she wearing like a morning veil or what? Or is this her hair? That's her hair. Her That's her hair? Yeah. It's not her hair. Whose hair is it? <laughs> Somebody in the third world who sold their hair. <laughs> is that a wig, baby? I mean, it doesn't look like it. It's not a wig. That's her normal hair. Yeah. Shocking. And you know what's funny? Taylor Swift was flattening out her hair or fixing it before they walked out. Really? That's yeah. after it was fixed? I guess. There were yeah. some flyaways. She, she does look like, she, she looks like a lampshade. Ah, uh, you're not wrong. <laughs> and frankly, this is the nicest outfit so far, so that tells you how this has been going. <laughs> <laughs> Ice Spice. Oh, love 
Spice this. Spice. Is this from? Yeah, she wore this from her latest song, Fart, which I believe is actually <laughs> the name of her actual latest song. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> really? Yeah. How do you know this and I don't? Uh, because I checked the trending charts, my friend. Because you were number one for the last 10 days okay. while you weren't here. Oh my God. It's called Think You the Sh Fart. Right. Oh. <laughs> that is literally the name of her last song. Funny. She picked up her hair from the last Broadway showing of Annie. Yeah. 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 Pop that right on. And then she, uh, that, that color is like, that's, that's a look. The combo of the fur and the jean really goes together. Is she a refugee from the Country Music Awards? <laughs> I feel like she entered the wrong, <laughs> she, she went to the wrong award ceremony. And again, I'm never going to get, you know, guys, I'm, I'm like the Jew here, but I'm never going to get over all of these people wearing giant crosses. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. weird. It's a, it's a weird move. Especially considering they do what they do and say yeah, what I they mean, say. There's a lady wearing a giant cross, and the last name, again, her last song was called You Think You the <laughs> Fart. <laughs> and she's wearing a giant cross. Over her cleavage, like I like. Okay, it's a it's a look. Also, again, was her original name Ice Spice? What is an Let's Ice find Spice? Out. That sounds terrible. Isis. Isis. <laughs> Isis. Her, name Isis? Is her, her Isis. real name is Isis. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought you were joking. No. <laughs> oh, like the Egyptian goddess. Okay, not like the terror group. Yeah. You know, well. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's truly like Britney Spears and Justin when they wore the jeans. That's what like I was thinking Like mashed into one person. Yeah. But you know, that fur coloring doesn't remind me of like fur. It reminds me of a cat, like a cat. Garfield. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's like she shaved my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Our dog, Happy, has that exact coloring. So I'm going to go home and check on him after this. I've been talking about my Helix mattress for years. I've had my Helix Sleep mattress, I don't know, for 10 years at this point. It was personalized just for me, firm but breathable the way that I needed. Helix is now introducing their newest, most high-end collection, Helix Elite. Helix Elite harnesses years of extensive mattress expertise to offer a truly elevated sleep experience. The Helix Elite collection includes six different mattress models, each tailored for specific sleep positions and firmness preferences. Head on over to helixsleep.com slash Ben. Check out the new collection today. If you're nervous about buying a mattress online, well, you don't have to be. Helix has a sleep quiz. It matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress because why would you buy a mattress made for someone else? I took that Helix quiz. I was matched with a firm but breathable mattress, as I say. Head on over to helixsleep.com slash Ben. Take that quiz yourself and get a mattress right for you. They've got a 10-year warranty. You can try it out for 100 nights. Risk-free, they'll pick it up from you if you don't love it, but you will. Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders, plus two free pillows for my listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash Ben. It's their best offer yet. It's not going to last long. With Helix, better sleep starts right now. Okay. Why is John Legend a woman? Yeah, that's what I said. Why is he wearing a woman's outfit? I mean, I understand. We all have to be, like, gender-bending at the Grammys and all this nonsense. But uh, he looks like a fool. He looks like a totally ridiculous fool. He looks like he stole Annie Lennox's outfit and is now wearing it. <laughs> that is a smooth chest yeah. happening. Yikes. That, yeah. that, that, that is it. He looks like a doof. I'm sorry. He looks like a doofus. That's that's a ridiculous outfit. Beta. Of all the outfits, this is the most ridiculous outfit. And that's yeah. saying a lot. By the way, he's also doing the thing with his cheeks. Yeah, no, he's also like, yeah, his cheekbones, like just Skeletor face going on. I think you're so... I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> It's I mean, I this is, a, this is not. This is not a look. This is okay. Oh. Yeah. You're supposed to bite your inner cheeks, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. I can't Close. perform this act. Yet. No, it's just, just awkward for me. All right, next. All right, and the wife. And there's Chrissy Teigen. This dress was made for a person who is four foot five, and <laughs> then she squeezed into it. Like this doesn't even make an attempt to cover her, like at all. Oh yeah, she's like five nine. It looks like my daughter could wear this dress, but my daughter is like four foot six. She reminds me of an upside down cupcake. Upside down cupcake is a good call. Yeah. It's like the top of the dress and the bottom of the dress were unrelated and brought together. <laughs> yeah. Like three more inches and this dress is fine. <laughs> All right. Heidi Klum. Oh, no. Who is how old? Oh, oh goodness Heidi gracious. Heidi Klum's like. She's 90, isn't she? She's 50. 50. Yeah, she's 50 years old and she's apparently dating Jesus. <laughs> 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 That's her husband. I thought I, I'm so old. I thought that she was still married to Seal. So she's on her third. She's on her third. Okay. Oh, wow. She's like I had a bra and I had a curtain. It's now a dress. <laughs> it's not even like a coherent piece of clothing. In fact, there there's a world where it reads like an angry face. <laughs> wow, I do see. Do you that. see that? You see yeah. the angry face now? Yeah. I don't know. It just looks like there's a side diaper hanging out. Yeah, and she's got her depends on because she's fifty. <laughs> Okay. And then her husband's like, I am married to Heidi Klum, but no one knows who I am. So I'm just dressed like a normal person. So Ben, here we go. I just heard her on Call Her Daddy. And she talks about how she grew up in a nude family. Like everyone was always naked, nude beaches in Germany. Seems healthy. So she lays out by her pool naked and her friend, like her kids would bring her friends over. And that was like a fight they'd have. What a delight. 
No, nothing Nothing says healthy childhood. Like your mom lazing around the pool naked while you tell your friends not to go in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Olivia Rodrigo. Wow, she looks nice. That's a nice dress. Yes. It's beautiful. And she's acting like a normal human being. Okay. Her lips, uh, she's not doing the... Yeah, she's not like sucking in her cheeks. She looks like a... She looks pretty. Like, okay, wow. It's such a, it's such a pleasant surprise when someone's dressed like a normal human being. Speaking of normal... Sophia Richie. Okay. And Sophia Richie also dressed like a normal human being. Is she pregnant? Yeah. Okay. So that's that's a black dress that a person is wearing. Good and job. looks normal. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Someone got eaten by a sea anemone. Summer Walker. Summer Walker eaten it's by a sea ostrich. anemone. Who is this? That's sad. Yeah. We ventured beneath the surface of the ocean to see our newest arrival. I don't know. Summer Walker. <laughs> Straight out of a Dr. Seuss book. That's totally right. That is totally right. This is like hunches and bunches over here. <laughs> Next. Lenny. Yeah, uh, Lenny Kravitz. Dude. The cross is killing me. Just like, my goodness. Why that cut out? It's like, why wear a shirt at all? Just go bare chested. And not just one giant cross, two giant crosses. <laughs> is he Jewish? <laughs> is he not Jewish? And I'd heard that rumor. They did convert to Judaism. If so, I don't think he understands the religion very well. It's kind of weird that, like, why the cross? Why, there's He's like got two. He's like, I didn't just love Jesus. Dude super loves Jesus, apparently. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, Jesus doesn't love that outfit. <laughs> I mean, points for being ripped and everything, but like, yeah. uh, how old is he? Let's see. It's a body stocky. He's dead. He's almost sixty. Yeah. It's fifty-nine. Yeah. Are the dreads real or are they just a wig at this point? Uh, I don't know. They could be real because he's always had a lot of hair. So. Yeah. Where do you get these glasses? He had the glasses from Doc Brown at the end of <laughs> Back to the Future One. <laughs> it's your kids, Marty. We got to worry about your kids. <laughs> All right. Will I am? Oh no. Wow. What the? F are those shoes? Uh, will I am? <laughs> I, I don't even. Huh. Wow, where to begin? So he's got the hoodie. <laughs> Same glasses as Lenny. He's got the yeah. He's borrowed Lenny's glasses, but also like a biker helmet because it extends all the way up his head. Like so a, he didn't know what to wear exactly. He's like I, he went jogging in the morning, but then he went on a moon bounce in the afternoon. But then he put on a jacket that's three sizes too big for him. I know. He looks like he's gonna wash the floors with those shoes. <laughs> oh man, those shoes are wild. Yeah. What is happening with those shoes? Are they ice skates? What are they? Do they have rocket boosters upon them? They're Swiffer branded. That's what yeah, I'm Swiffer saying. Yeah, Swiffer branded. Nice. Good call. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Has he been relevant for like 10 years? Musically, only in the Latin world. Okay. Can you name a Black Eyed Peas song, Ben? Can I name a Black Eyed Peas song? Um, Come on. You can do it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, by the way, I've worked on so many Black Eyed Peas records. I don't know what song you just did. My humps. Oh. <laughs> I, I can't remember when Fergie was a solo artist and when she was with the Black Eyed Peas. Yeah, it, it's blurry. Like, I just remember milkshakes and yards and such. Not, <laughs> not, not her. That was Khalees. That's okay. Okay, so I'm, I'm totally blown. I don't know. But same era and, and could be confused. I get it. Fergalicious, was that like mm -hmm. in her solo yep. period? Yeah. That was her yeah. solo. Right? I don't know. I don't know any of these people and don't care. Also, he has random punctuation in his name. I, which, by the way, like he has a couple of periods. I figure he should have dropped a semicolon or something, like something interesting. All right. <laughs> wow. I think we've got Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. CeeLo Green. I want to yeah, see CeeLo. So first of all, CeeLo is like a shockingly talented singer. Yes. Like F.U. is actually kind of a great song. Yes. And uh, I don't, what is, he looks like a, he's a refugee from the Star Trek episode with Stacey Abrams. <laughs> he looks like a, when Shaq played the genie. Yes. Oh my when God. Shaq played the genie, but really short. <laughs> yeah, it has like a fifth element. Oh yeah, no, I mean, he, th this, is, this is direct from Hunger Games. I mean, this is just like, and then he's also got like a gong and then he's wearing like pointy shoes and um, he will grant you three wishes. <laughs> <laughs> Meryl Streep in a suit. So first of all, I like that on the stage, it looked like they're walking in from a different dimension because they really are walking in from a different dimension called Left Wing America. This is this is uh, Mark Ronson, the producer. He married Meryl Streep's daughter. So that's his mother-in-law. Okay, I was, that's his mother-in-law. So yeah. first of all, awkward. Second of all, again, they look like they're coming from a terrible future to warn you about impending doom. Mark Ronson and Meryl Streep wander out of a portal from the future, wearing this shit. A future without shirts, apparently. Right, and sons hold their mother-in-law's hand as they walk. <laughs> I don't get it. Okay. Okay, so this is a person that we actually know over here because we interviewed her, Montana Tucker, and good for her for actually, you know, fostering a good message. There she is with the Bring Them Home yellow ribbon, which is, of course, about the uh, hostages who are stuck in the Gaza Strip and dressed like a, a woman, <laughs> which, again, is like a shocking thing at the Grammys. 
Okay, so that was the Grammys. These are your moral exemplars. Probably should let your kids listen to all of their music and imbibe from all of their lyrics because they all seem like well-grounded, excellent people who have excellent, excellent values and standards. Um, yeah. If you have recommendations of more outfits that you wish me to review a la Joan Rivers, leave them in the comments below. Uh -huh.